Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to Health and Wealth. We have taken a little bit of a break, but we're back. Um, today we are talking, I don't know if you are catching that I'm losing my voice. It's an allergy issue. And I thought, why not talk about something that is helpful to your health, but you wouldn't probably associate it if you weren't, if it wasn't brought up. And that is actually getting the ducts and the vents clean in your house. Mm -hmm. So there's numerous benefits to it, but let me just point out a couple of the main ones. The first are getting your ducts cleaned out helps reduce allergens, which can obviously help with allergies and asthma issues. Mm -hmm. um, also, it helps improve the airflow of your home. And I, it also can help reduce odors in your home, which I don't, I mean, I wouldn't have thought that, but it does. And I would, this is a brief, like I said, a brief overview of why you should get your ductwork clean. But I would also like to just quickly shout out JSK Duct Cleaning and Home Maintenance. Brooke and Shane do a great job and they'd be happy to talk to you about any of um, any duct and vent cleaning. So that was quick. Shocking, if anybody's ever done work to your house and right now we're doing some remodeling in our house. And so we have some of our grates pulled away, right? And it's shocking all the dust bunnies and like stuff that collects in there. Our cat actually uh, developed a <laughs> habit of you know, hiding inside those ducts. So he, He's doing a job of cleaning it out himself, but, but it is kind of appalling when you open that up and you see how much dust is in well, there. Well, that's a good point. So if you are doing any home renovations, that dust is getting down into your vents. So that might be another good time to get your vents cleaned out when you're doing home maintenance. When we first moved into our house, um, we, we didn't put the ductwork in until we were done. Um, but I turned on our microwave, the blower on the microwave, and all this is drywall dust flew out yeah, at me. Yeah. So imagine that in your vents, and that's the air that you're breathing. So give JSK Home Maintenance a call. Yep. I want to take a brief second to talk about an investment strategy. Uh, whenever you get into investing, it's a good idea to have some pre-thought-out ideas on how you're going to act in certain situations. And right now, since January 1st, the stock market has been in a pretty steady decline as interest rates have begun to rise. So these cycles that go into investing, they're normal. And if you look at the history of investing, that's what it is. A re repeating of cycles over and over again. History repeats itself. It does, and, and very much so in investing. The booms are not gonna last forever. And thankfully, the downturns are not going to last forever as well. So our strategy, as we get into investing, uh, we expect normal declines of 10% or more a couple times a year. That's what's called a standard correction. And we buy into those. What I mean by that is when they happen, we continue to buy to acquire new assets because those are opportunities to pick up investments at discount prices. There's a difference, however, between a correction and a protracted uh, bear market. A bear market is a declining market. And bear. what we're in right now is a bear market. We, we expect uh, this cycle, this downward cycle, uh, to continue uh, through third quarter of 2022 and possibly into uh, 2023. So in these situations, uh, we are accumulating cash. Uh, the thing that you don't want to do is sell at your investments at a loss, especially if you have 5, 10, 15 years ahead of you. We're not selling investments off at a loss because chances are in, in two years, three years, four years, uh, hopefully this has corrected itself and we are on the tr uh, upward trajectory upwards. Think about investment markets like a, a grandfather clock, right? The, the pendulum is swinging back and forth and uh, the average time would be somewhere in the middle there. But, they, but it actually doesn't spend much time in the middle, right? It's either moving towards the extremes of one end or another. And when, as it moves towards extremes, it actually builds energy for the next move back, backwards towards the opposite direction. That's exactly what happens with stocks. When we go through a boom period, uh, what's actually uh, developing is risk. A lot of times we feel good about the market going up, but that's actually when risk comes up, right? When prices get a little elevated, elevated there's more uh, risk in the market. Now, as we're heading into a downward, what's actually happening, happening is we're de-risking. It doesn't feel like it because the prices of things are going down, but the risk is actually being reduced right now. And there gets to be a position where we are oversold and it begins to correct in the upward trajectory. So knowing how you're going to act ahead of time allows you to make uh, wise decisions during the moment. Yes, absolutely. And um, as always, if you have any questions or you would like to review, please feel free to reach out. We would glad we'd be glad to schedule a meeting with you or have a phone call, Zoom call, any of that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Good. Thank you very much. Have a good week.